how do you think or what do you think are some of the best practices of distributing long form content making it making it accessible and available sure thing so so i think the essential principle to bear in mind is that everything has to be kind of optimized for the platform that it's that is being distributed on the mistake that people make constantly is to sort of think in terms of old money tv so i think okay i've got this asset i've, I've spent money on this this thing therefore i just need to get out to as many people as possible and in many locations as possible and that's the way we're going to distribute it um but that doesn't really work and it doesn't really make any sense what you need to do instead is think about cultivating your audience and your fan base and the way you do that is by really speaking to them in the most meaningful way where they are at any given point in time and context so it's not like we tend to assume it's like Facebook is one audience, YouTube is a different audience, Twitter is different. Like this isn't true. It's all the same people. It's just they're in a slightly different context at each point, and you need to meet them where they are. So that means essentially, like you know, for example, YouTube is really good for trailers, and it's really good for clips. So think about it from a media perspective, like how you're going to get people to watch all your stuff. You want them to see those initial um, segments, and you want people to kind of consume as much as they can. Often, if you just shove out like a your full long form piece of content on YouTube and Facebook, no one's going to sit there and watch it because when they're on those platforms, they tend to be in a sort of more of a browsing mode. YouTube, they might go there specifically, but that's normally when they are specifically trying to find a piece of content and they're going to a destination. But you do much better when you basically create like different clips. So YouTube, there might be two to three minute clips. Facebook, they're often 30 seconds to one minute and they are like, you know, with these captions maybe surrounding it and you really optimize for that context and that location to give people a taster of what you've got then the key principle is always well how do we then drive people to that next meaningful engagement and that means that often moving them between platforms and i think that ultimately you know from a business perspective what you want to do is drive the most value yourself and i think you do that most effectively when you have the full content on your website where people can go there they can subscribe give you the email address watch the whole thing distraction free no ads um and then you use all the social platforms to sort of deliver the clips and the trailers that are going to really generate that engagement on social media and then drive people who are you know, interested to engage a bit further to a platform that you control. So it's basically like thinking of yourself like a media company doing exactly the same thing that the New York Times does, that Netflix does, that Amazon does. You know, social media is great to capture attention and then you need to build your own owned platform to drive engagement. And that's really the, the way to think about um, distribution more holistically. And within that, each platform needs its own optimization. That means its own aspect ratio, its own length, its own structure, and all that kind of thing. So you have to kind of get quite savvy with understanding different platforms and what works best on them.